Hey, it's Danny from Dan Phoenix, not Conscious Calisthenics. Yes, the channel used to be called Conscious Calisthenics, as a lot of you may have been come aware of just recently, because you can see that my channel is not called Conscious Calisthenics anymore, which I'm making this video because a lot of people might not be aware who is this Dan Phoenix that's on my subscription list. I never subscribed to him, which did actually have some concerns about changing my channel name in case this happened to people and then they ended up unsubscribing. But I'm sure the majority of people are like, okay, who's this person? We go check out his videos and then they've watched the, my videos and seen that it's me. So in this video, I wanted to talk to you why I have changed my name from Conscious Calisthenics to Dan Phoenix. But before I go into that video, I first want to mention, I'm going to be talking about in some videos very soon, why I quit the carnivore diet for good recently, have managed to gain a lot of weight within a short period of time, unlike on the carnival diet, which I could not gain weight on out. Also be talking about me getting COVID and a few other things. So make sure you're subscribed and you got the bell button clicked if you want to be notified of when that video comes. So now on to the topic of the video. So it's very, very simple as to why I changed my channel name. And I'll give you a bit of a backstory. So when I created this YouTube channel around three years ago, I thought the majority of the videos and the focus on this YouTube channel would be towards calisthenics, which is a type of body weight training, which at first the videos were very focused upon that specific topic. But with me, I'm not a person that just likes to talk about one specific thing because I'm passionate about many different things. I'm forever learning, growing and evolving, trying out different things, experimenting with new things. And when I discover new things, I get very passionate about it. I learn about it and then I want to share what I've learned with you. So what had naturally happened over the period of time from when I created the YouTube channel to now is I've talked about so many different things and many different times people had said on the comments section, why are you hardly making any calisthenics videos whatsoever on this channel? It's a very good point. And because of the reason that I just explained. So yes, I set out for it to be a calisthenics focused YouTube channel, but then it's just naturally gone in the direction that it's gone in. And I've talked about things such as the carnival diet, interviewed ex-vegans, exposing the vegan agenda, talking about intermittent fasting, weight loss, many, many different things. So yeah, it was meant to be a conscious calisthenics YouTube channel. And the reason why I called it that is because calisthenics is a very conscious way of moving and working out. And I'm a very conscious person. So that's very simple as to why I chose that name. So I'd been thinking for months and months and months and months and months of different names to change the YouTube channel. Name to, but not change it to a name where it's a very specific name. So calling myself like Dan the Milkman or Dan the Carnivore or this or that or that because I'm forever changing and switching up things and what I may be very passionate about now, I might not be down the line very passionate about it. So I thought I'd use a name that's a bit of a broad statement for a YouTube channel name. So I thought at one point choosing my full name, which is Danny Glass, which actually my mum's side of the family, that's where the second name comes from. They're actually from Scotland and they would actually pronounce my second name Glass, which I don't really have like a massive like, wow, this second name's amazing and I don't dislike it. I feel neutral with it. So I felt I didn't really want to use my name. And when I actually searched up using my name, dannyglass.com is taken because when I change my YouTube channel's names to a name before I make a decision to change the name, I make sure the .com is available, but it was not. So that was like, okay, I'm not gonna choose that. And then I just go through these phases over the last six months or so where I'm like, hmm, okay, I'm thinking about changing it again. Let's try and find an option. So at one point I was gonna choose Danny's matrix because it is like a matrix. You can take the blue pill, the red pill and learn something that could really benefit you and help you in so many different ways. Or you could just shut yourself away, take the blue pill and hide away and not learn, grow and evolve and actually become more conscious and benefit from what I have to share with you in the videos that I've uploaded to this YouTube channel and ones that I share in the future. And then I thought, mm, I'm not that keen on that name. It has a good meaning behind it, but nah, I'm not gonna go for that. So then I was like, okay, this, that, 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 that. And then I came up with Danny Phoenix, which the .com was taken for that. So I shortened my name to Dan Phoenix 
because the .com was available for that and I bought that a little while ago and I was like, okay, let's change the channel name to that. So that's the reason why I chose that name because it was available, but the biggest reason as to why I thought about that name being changed from glass to the Phoenix is because it has very significant meaning behind it for me personally. So when I look at the Phoenix and think about the Phoenix, I think about myself. I've been through many tough challenges in life, just like many of us. And through certain challenges and adversities in life, we have these challenges that hit us head on and they test us and challenge us. And what normally happens is, if you choose to be conscious and learn, grow and evolve from it, you have to let certain parts of your identity and self go and let certain parts of yourself be destroyed and then you burn to the ashes, then you can be reborn through that darkness that you go through, go through the light and be like a phoenix rising through the ashes. So it's a symbology for personal evolution and self-development to actually push you in a direction to become a greater, better version of yourself, which I've gone through this rebirthing process so many different times in my life. And yeah, it just, is a really, really, really big meaning behind it for me personally due to the reasons that I've just explained. So it makes sense for me to actually call my channel Dan Phoenix. And it doesn't matter what I'm passionate about or what I'm talking about on YouTube. It doesn't matter. I don't need to end up ever changing my name because it's not focused on a specific topic. So I'm really happy with this decision. Let me know your thoughts. Do you prefer Conscious Calisthenics or Dan Phoenix? Or would you prefer that I would have changed it to something else? Let me know down below in the comments section. So if you like the video, like it down below. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe as well. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.